Hey guys, how are y'all doing? I'm back and I finally have enough invasion clips for more videos. Today I wanted to present you my reworked family member. It's been three months since the event and I felt like I didn't give this build enough attention. Originally it was a deck cleaning build with Morgoth sword, but now I've changed it to strength. Ironically, a few days after that 109 was released, but I think Kurt Great Swords and specifically Margaret Sword Ash of War. However, great access were not left out with the speed buff, so I still got something to work with. At the moment I'm using the Great Omen Killer Cleaver, which is a fitting gnarly weapon in my opinion. I'm trying out spinning slash on it, and as you can see here it's really strong, it builds up all the bleed too. Just for the backwards walking champions, I have a Poké Stick. It's a bleed infused Rogers Rapier. I went for it because I think it looks awesome. It has that double hit strong attack that can help with bleed. Also, it goes with impaling thrust, the combo from Talons, but that rarely happens. This is a pretty good invasion underground. I changed Ash of War on a cleaver to a Lion's Claw. That is basically unstaggerable. What it means is, instead of modifying your poise, it makes you immune to certain stun levels. As you can see here, I ignored the stamp. I think for better results I should be free aiming it more, like with Impaling Thrust. And here's where the Dubia spam begins, which is easily the most annoying thing you can do. It's so bad, it takes my frame rate here. Now, the plan is to get away and equip a shield with KN Retaliation, and there's no PvE to back me up either. I do have a Reduvia of my own, but I rarely use it, it's just not satisfying enough. It is an absolute nightmare if you put it in offhand with Mogwin Spear though. This guy just keeps getting hit by Vaslame Talents. I will say that I got notably better at knowing my moment when to cast it. Also, I learned that chain casting it multiple times is a viable strategy, creating a series of explosions in front of him that manages walking in. I did not expect these two to have a taunter stung on, but it's a welcome change. I did switch my weapon here to a Mogwin Spear to pressure the shield a bit, and this is like a main weapon on this build. The spear got hefty requirements for level 60, so this build is basically a minimal stats of wielding it. Having 27 arcane helps with bleed, I can see that compared to 17 on previous version. Every time I have a chance to roll the bleed proc, which doesn't make sense to me sometimes, but I got an exaltation buff anyway, so it's alright. As it often happens, my coin raider could not last a minute against a single player, so it's about time I go deeper in the level, hoping they will follow me. And a surprise red circle. It even has a bit of hyper armor, so I poised through a one handed heavy attack with this S dog. These small rooms is where this build excels at. I'm setting up those delayed explosions into Blood Moon Ritual as host tries to escape. The worst elevated ride of your life, bitch. A bizarre invasion here where none of these dudes had an internet. Smartest virus mask user stabs himself in front of me and I can only respond to that with a flurry of talents. I am pretty sure they all dead at this point, and the lag was so severe that host just vanished in an instant. This invasion can be described in two words. Blood one Ritual. Honestly, soon enough I will become addicted to it, and then it's a direct road downhill. Swarm of Bees is mainly a harassment spell, but lately I've been just casting it in front of me to punish walking in, or even outspacing something. It often gets me a free exaltation proc. It's important to use all kinds of levers and doors to your advantage with iframes, and in this particular situation as an escape route. I picked this strategy back in Dark Souls 1 and Orlando, but it still works. 
You can tell this phantom is overleveled by the ratio of his damage to mine, and by the fact he just never bleeds. I'm getting pressured badly here, so it's time to escape. Or at least to try. If nobody got me, I know Hellroom got me. I could see how I over relied on the red circle here, but unlike Saint's build, I didn't have that massive burst option like Dragon Claw empowered with Lord of Blood Exaltation, and Host gets the bags, because this was mildly annoying. In the rest of the video, I fight fellow bleed build, so I hope you enjoy the footage. Overall, I am satisfied with changes I've made to this character, and I have plans on making a Dex Arcane character for 80 with Margot's sword, but that's for another video. Final round, fight! fight. 